Hey folks, I am Troy and you're watching TroyTube. Today we're going to talk about what I think is a great tool to add to your small business. So we'll be back to talk about it in just a moment. So if you have a small business where you're making your crafts and selling them on Etsy or Shopify site or some other platform, eBay maybe, um, or even locally, uh, you know, maybe uh, you just have you know, Facebook Marketplace and you're shipping items through there. Uh, you know, you need to ship, be able to ship your items, which means you need to be able to do it efficiently and accurately. Um, and this involves, you know, putting your orders into a system, paying for the postage, uh, whether it's FedEx, UPS, USPS, or whatever method you're using, and printing a label to put on your package. Now, we usually all start out the same way. We print it, uh, you know, maybe through click and ship on the USPS site or something, and print it on a piece of copy paper. We you know, cut it and tape it to the package and drop it off to post office. It's ones and twosies or, you know, just here and there. Uh, it's real easy to do that. Um, and then maybe we'll pick up some uh, shipping labels at Staples and it gets a little easier and we realize all oh, how expensive that is. And, and we need to start looking at label printer options or maybe, uh, uh, you know, we realize that we can get some labels free from some of the couriers and things like that. And, uh, you know, we start to get a lot more curious about different ways we can do this. Uh, when we were shipping high volumes at my old company, we used uh, Zebra printers. Those were, you know, heavy-duty commercial uh, label printers, thermal label printers that print thousands, tens and tens of thousands of printers. When those things are properly cared and taken care of, uh, you know, taken care of and, and used properly, uh, tens and tens of thousands of orders can be printed with those label printers. But they're expensive. They're several hundred dollars a piece, um, and you know you got to maintenance them and, and take a little bit of care of them. But they work very well. And there are some entry level, consumer grade type label printers out there. One of the ones I used years ago when we set up some of our first e-commerce sites was a Dymo label printer. But we had some problems with it. It would jam, uh, you know, and, and you know, oh god gosh, if the labels got rolled up around the rollers that was a nightmare uh to take apart and get cleaned off and I had one one time that the labels did that it kind of bent the roller bar um and uh just kind of became messy and those weren't cheap some of those printers i think were 150 bucks a couple hundred bucks something like that it's like a dymo turbo 450 or xl or something like that uh that would print the larger labels and uh, they, they, they worked okay. Uh, most of the ones we did, uh, we had the smaller ones that would print like stamp size postage because uh, back then, I mean, we're talking you know, 10 years ago, the easiest ways to do some of that was to use the software from the post office, which would print your label, but it didn't have postage on it. And then we would use Indicia software to print the postage from the post office and just put a stamp, literally a stamp because we could weigh our package and put, we could print a, a stamp for any dollar amount we wanted and put it on the package. So, you know, we were shipping you know, fairly low volumes back then for, for that size of a store, just working out of our home. Um, and it was easy and convenient. But times have progressed. We're 10 years later now. Things are a lot easier. It works better. Uh, things are a lot more consistent and stable. We have things like Pirate Ship, which makes it easy to buy postage at bulk rates. Uh, Pirate Ship uses all of their buying power to uh, you know, ship lower rates through USPS. And you can import your orders from uh, you know, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, all these different platforms. So if you have a WooCommerce store, uh, those types of sites. Uh, you can import all your orders from, even if you have multiple platforms, import them and then print them on things like four by six labels, like a roll of labels or fan fold labels using a thermal label printer. It makes life a lot easier for you. And those label printers are a lot more durable and a lot more um, uh, available and, and affordable today than what they were 10 years ago, of course. Uh, there was a point where uh, I used these for the longest time. FedEx, if you had a FedEx account, would send you free 4x6 labels. They say FedEx along the edge, but once you peeled the 4x6 label off, it did not say FedEx on them. So uh, we had a FedEx account, but we shipped by UPS and USPS at the time as well. And it made it real easy. Uh, I actually was able to uh, I think the USPS was the only, or UPS was the only one that didn't fit properly, and I could 
shrink the print job by like 10% and it would work. So we could just use this for all three. It worked out beautifully. And we used those for the longest time and it made it easy. I still have some left over and been using them here and there when I would ship something. My, my, uh, you know, I got kids in college, so when we mail things, it makes it easy to pull one out, run it through a laser printer or inkjet printer, or either one and uh, worked, worked just fine uh, and, and began getting along just fine with that. But I decided, you know, I'm just tired of dealing with that. I thought, let's test out and see what's out in the market today and see if I can find a thermal uh, printer that will take roll labels that's affordable, that is, you know, something I would spend the money on. You know, I was like, I'm willing to spend a hundred bucks to make my life a little bit easier, even though I'm not shipping products right now necessarily. But I do ship some things, I ship things to the kids and to family members. Might start shipping some small things here soon. I don't know. Uh, and I thought, you know, let's go ahead and do this. And it gives me a chance to test it, see what's in the market and communicate that to you guys and let you see what's out there. So I bought this printer. Uh, the brand is Off Nova, uh, is the brand, and they have a couple of different printers out there. The one I bought is just a straight USB connected printer. I have two different ones, two different models of the same printer in my Amazon store right now, along with the labels that it uses. Uh, one is Bluetooth, one is just straight USB connected. Uh, the Bluetooth printer is about $50 more than the USB connected printer. The caveat for me for this, the Bluetooth printer, uh, I'm kind of old school. You know, as most of you know, I worked in IT for almost 25 years supporting these kind of things. So I would much rather have a wire connected something from a support standpoint because more often than not, a wire works. And if you deal with wireless connections, whether it's Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or whatever, they fail often. You know, they just mysteriously quit working sometimes. Bluetooth, sometimes you just have to disconnect it and tell it to forget the device and repair the device. Not repair it, but pair it again. Um, and, uh, you know, they, it just, you know, you have to go through this troubleshooting step sometimes. So as a support person in the IT field, when you had those things out in the field, it was much easier to walk through someone unplugging a wire and plugging it back in, or just making sure something's plugged in securely, or saying unplug that USB cord and plug it into the USB port next to it uh, to troubleshoot, rather than having to walk them through troubleshooting wirelessly, <laughs> wireless devices remotely. Uh, it was just a nightmare. Uh, didn't even like to have Bluetooth keyboards in the field back then, uh, because people would call up and complain that they were having problems with their keyboard and just the time for them to call and take time to answer their call and say have you changed the batteries in your keyboard was you know frustrating and a waste of time that you couldn't bill for anyway that's my uh, outlook on wires versus Bluetooth I will say though you know in my setup I have tables and set around my desk around the walls and uh, my work area setups that's conducive for wire so I would just even if I wanted to put my uh, label printer on the other side of the room I would just run a USB cable around the edges along with the rest of my wires and hook it up however many setups probably aren't conducive to that and if I was not shipping a high volume of orders uh, and I wasn't worried about that and it was just me the Bluetooth would be nice to be able to set that Bluetooth printer across the room and not have to uh, you know, worry about the wires and not have to have a separate computer for my shipping or you know whatever and be able to say you know just print the label and have it spit out over across the room you know, it can make things life you know, a little bit easier. Um, you know, the printer was is, is pretty impressive, I have to say. Uh, I was shocked at how well it set up and was easy to use. Of course, typical man, I didn't read the manual. I just got it out of the box, started fiddling with it, and, and uh, I had to go back and see how to actually uh, load the labels into it and make it read the label size and everything. It's pretty cool. Um, you know, the, the way that it sets up, um, it's really, really easy. Uh, it comes with a deal, you know, like you saw in the unboxing there, it comes with a USB key that has the drivers on it. It works with Windows and Mac. Uh, it comes with the um, uh, care, like a, a tray that will hold either fan fold labels 
or a roll of labels. Now the roll of labels it's set up for is about this size. It has the smaller like one and a half inch or one inch type tube in the center uh, about this diameter. And I think this is what uh, I put in my Amazon store that you can buy as far as the roll of labels. The roll of labels that you see right here is the roll that I ordered from my UPS account. So if you have a UPS account, you can order these and they'll ship them to you for free. However, it is a much larger roll as you see here. It comes on a three inch tube like the big rolls of vinyl do. And it's too large to just lay on the little spindle that's made for this holder. So I actually 3D printed an insert and put in there and it is perfect it holds it perfectly it spins freely works great uh, if you want the STL file to 3d print that uh, insert uh, for this or anything else uh, it's just a simple cylinder with a hole in it I'll make it available for free on my Troy Graham website and the link will be uh, in the video description down below uh, but you know, it takes about takes about uh, eight hours to print that on my Creality 3d printer but you can make that by just cutting, you know, a little piece of wood out with a hole saw or something too. No, nope, not not anything fancy there. So we'll do the unboxing of the label printer here. It's a thermal label printer, as mentioned. And in the top of the box is a smaller box that has the tray that comes unassembled. You have to put this together. It's really easy. I'll show you at the end of the unboxing here how you assemble it. And it comes with a package that has a couple of accessories in the owner's manual. And then we have the printer itself, as well as another box with accessories down in the bottom. So we'll get rid of the main box. And this is the actual thermal label printer, and we'll get rid of the plastic bag. And there is a latch on the right side that you pull with your finger to open it up. It's hinged on the left, so it opens. And then we'll get rid of the packing slip. And there are guides that you adjust for the width of the label. And so you'll see in, uh, later in the video, you put your labels in and then close the printer. And so we'll set that off to the side. And next to this box has the power adapter in it. So it's just a uh, AC power brick, similar to what uh, powers a laptop or other devices. And then it comes with a standard USB uh, cord. As mentioned, this is the USB only printer. They do make another model uh, that is Bluetooth as well uh, but this is the USB connected only and this is a uh, USB to USB C connector and a USB thumb drive that contains the software and manuals as well as a printed uh, user's guide uh, we'll take this out and I'll show it to you it again is a USB to USB C adapter uh, there are many laptops now that only contain USB C ports on them and then this is a USB thumb drive that contains, as mentioned, the PDF files for the manual, uh, contains a sample uh, label to print, as well as the drivers for Mac and Windows. And then you get a couple sample packs of labels here that are white, and then those yellow uh, are labels, uh, sample labels as well. And then a you know, little thank you card. And then this box contains the tray to hold your labels to feed the printer. And you do have to assemble it. It is really, really simple. Uh, so you just take the parts out and you'll see uh, that there are just a few pieces that you slide together. It does come with a little card that shows you very clear, simple pictures on how to assemble this. So we'll move everything out of the way and I'll show you how to put this together. You have uh, the bottom of the tray and two sides and the two sides literally just slip down in the holes and slide forward and then the part that goes on the back slides down in and locks into place and then you have uh, this piece which is kind of the axle uh, if you will that you put the roll labels on and drop it into place to feed the printer or you can put the fan fold labels down in the bottom of this tray to feed the printer as well but it, it works great um, as you see here uh, I'm, print, I'm printing a test barcode uh, shipping label here uh, it just spits it right out uh, the printer is quick, responsive, prints very well. Uh, I've already used it to, to ship a couple boxes out. And 
um, the way that you um, load the labels into it, you have to uh, actually uh, adjust the guides first. You have opened the, the lid, then you adjust the guides to the width of the labels, and so that it's barely touching the sides of the labels. And then, uh, first the printer has to be off when you do this. And then when you close uh, the lid, uh, you turn the label printer on, and then you hold the button until it beeps one time, and then the printer will automatically read the labels and measure and sense the labels and make its own adjustments for the labels, and it will auto-adjust so that it goes right to the perforation, and you can tear off the label after each print. And once it does that, of course, the auto the feed button will also feed forward to the perforation. Uh, so then you're ready to go, and that's all there is to setting it up uh, physically. Uh, there was some settings in the printer driver. You're going to want to look at your getting started setup guide uh, that I did have to go into the printer driver and set my label size in the printing preference uh, to, tell, to tell it that it was a 4 by 6 label. There's a couple of places I set this. I think only one affects it, but I set it in both places because I'd seen some places in my past IT life where it did matter uh, in certain software if it was set in both places or not but um, you might want to you know if, if you have any problems with that it's uh, you know in the startup guide and very easy to set and find that as well so uh, hopefully uh, this has been helpful to you I think this is a great little printer if you have one of these uh, like I said I've only printed a few labels with it but I do like the way it's set up uh, I think the um, the way the the top of it hinges open versus the way the Dymo label printers were made uh, looks like it's probably a lot more durable uh, and, and will last longer than what the Dymo labels printers were. If you have one of these printers and have used it a lot or have any specific feedback, I would love to have a comment from you down below the video to share your experience with other users. Uh, like I said, this is in my Amazon store. That link is down in the video description and is also on the screen here uh, right now. Uh, so if you go to Amazon.com slash shop slash TroyTube, uh, go to the uh, uh, tech products and you'll find this printer again it works with Windows and Mac uh, don't believe uh, that it will work with any you know like phones or tablets or anything even the Bluetooth I don't believe will work I have not investigated that at all uh, so you know you're on your own on that one uh, but um, it is, uh, you know, I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, no more than I ship, I think it's going to be great. This roll of labels <laughs> I have will probably last me forever. But uh, hopefully that's been helpful to you. I just got this myself. thought it'd be a great uh, review video, something that you might be able to use in your small business. And uh, like I said, if you have one of these and use it for a while, have some specific feedback, leave a comment below. If you have any questions or comments as well, leave them down below the video.